China's largest bank refuses to accept Yuan, China's largest bank, ICBC, as well as three other credit institutions, China City Bank, Industrial Bank, Bank of Taizhou and Bank of China have stopped accepting payments from Russia in Yuan, sources in the Russian business community told Izvesha. According to them, the situation worsened sharply at the end of March. About 80% of transactions began to be returned to the senders. Today, transferring Yuan to China is a big problem, which is why the import of equipment in April was difficult, noted one of the publication's interlocutors. A small amount of payments are made through small Chinese financial institutions, another source said, but they are also beginning to follow the example of large banks and introduce restrictions, says Alexei Razumovsky, commercial director of the Empire Rus company. Payments going to China first hang for a long time, then the client is asked to fill out additional forms, a check begins, and then the operation is refused without explanation, Razumovsky said. The information was confirmed by the General Director of the Business Council at the Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Alexei Egamin. According to him, payments for industrial goods have become especially complicated, but payments for consumer products are still going through. New restrictions are associated with the risk of secondary sanctions from the United States, reminds General Director of First Group, JSC, Alexei Poroshin. He emphasized, despite Russia's friendship with China, Chinese banks are not going to enter into confrontation with Western regulators. Problems with settlements began at the end of December 2023, after U.S. President Joe Biden allowed the U.S. Treasury to impose secondary sanctions against companies and financial organizations of third countries for cooperation with Russia. At first, Chinese banks refused to accept payments from Russia in dollars because they were tracked by the United States. But already in January, several credit institutions refused to conduct transactions in Yuan. Among them are Ping An Bank and Bank of Nongbo. The Bank of China also began requesting data on whether the operation is connected with the self-proclaimed LPR, DPR, Crimea, Iran, North Korea, Cuba or Syria. In addition, the bank clarified whether the sender or recipient of the payment is related to the Russian armed forces. The Kremlin has confirmed the withdrawal of the Russian peacekeeping contingent from the Garabag region of Azerbaijan. Note that since yesterday, the process of withdrawal of the temporary station Russian peacekeeping contingent in Garabag has begun. The first team and military equipment belonging to the peacekeeping contingent have left the territory of the Albanian temple in the Kalbajar region. The peacekeeping contingent completely vacated the temple area several days ago. Currently, the Azerbaijani police are guarding the Albanian temple, thus, the process of the withdrawal of the Russian peacekeeping contingent from Azerbaijani territory has begun, the Russian president's spokesperson, Dmitry Peskov, confirmed that the withdrawal of the Russian peacekeeping contingent from the Karabakh region of Azerbaijan has begun. While answering the questions of the Russian media, yes, it is like that, Peskov stressed. Earlier, dozens of peacekeepers' observation posts in the Karabakh region were closed after Azerbaijani military reclaimed control over the entire region following the counter-terrorist measures in September. It should be noted that the Russian peacekeeping contingent was temporarily stationed in Garabag on November 10, 2020, following a trilateral statement signed by the leaders of Azerbaijan, Russia, and Armenia. Ah, 
بچه در کلیسی کشبه بیخصد